What's up guys? This is going to be a little bit different of a video. This is something I have not covered before. But this is an awesome example of what happens to a motor when you put a low ambient controller on a sleeve bearing motor but do not uh, maintain a minimum speed enough to cause proper lubrication of the motor. So first let me show you the low ambient controller, which these are cool controllers. I've installed these. And uh, both these dials were set all the way to the minimum. I just turned this one up for testing because I was given the maximum starting torque because the motor was a little tight. Um, and this is just what they call hard start, where it bumps it up to a fast speed before drop it back down when it doesn't start up during low ambient conditions. These are cool because they have a sensor that uh, monitors temperature of the coil, liquid line. Usually, usually put it, you know, most of the way through the coil for a good reading and just stick it in there. Uh, I assume they got it installed, right? I haven't looked at that, but anyway, um, there's two settings on these. See how it says ball bearing range and sleeve range. Sleeve bearing, which is what this is here. On ball bearings, you could slow it down more because uh, the lubrication, I guess, is not an issue. But if you have a sleeve bearing, you're not supposed to go lower than where this line is. You have to stay in this range. Both of these screws were turned all the way down, like to the lowest starting torque and to the lowest minimum like it says, cut out speed. Um, that's where it actually will stop also. This lets it slow down even more. If you put it up here, it'll it'll slow down to a minimum speed and then if your, your pressure is dropping anymore, or temperature's dropping even more because it's cool out, your low load condition, um, with a cool out, it'll just eventually just, once it needs to slow down the motor more, it'll just shut the motor totally off instead of let, slowing it down to the point where the bearings don't get proper lubrication. So it's just a safety thing for motors. Uh, so I'll adjust that into the sleeve bearing range. So, and uh, they're getting, we didn't have one of these motors in stock, so they're gonna send one out. I'm gonna try to, I was intending to clean this up and oil it for temporary operation, but this is horrible. Let's focus for close up. Nope. I just popped the end cap off so you can see all the way through it. That sucker, man, that sucker cooked. Knock out the black stuff and I'm going to run the sandpaper through that real carefully. Any material you take off, of course, adds tolerance to between the shaft and the sleeve bearing, so which will just make it not work anyway. So just trying to clean off some of that carbon and everything. That's how hot the oil got. It turned to carbon, all that. Okay. Ran the wire wheel and then lightly with the sand cloth on that. I won't take too much of much sure off, but I had to get off that carbon. Same thing with the bushing. Sleeve bearing. So, still looks kind of yucky. But... I'm gonna put the cap on now and then uh, put the sucker back together. And we'll see what it, That is smooth. We'll have to see what happens under a load. One amp. So far, so good. 1.4, probably right where it should be. That might actually stay working until the new motor comes in.